so today's video we're gonna be talking about people traveling transiting or what kind of luggage to use when you travel so we all have different kind of boxes so i want to show you guys the safest box to travel with majority of people have something like this you know and once you feel you put a padlock here your box is safe but i want to show you we're gonna open this box and i'm gonna close it back without tampering with anything so this is just a pen So the padlock is still here but i already have access to your box so i can take whatever i want to take inside when i'm done watch Let, let's assume there's a padlock here so i'm going to hold the two together keep pushing so let me show you your box means your things are missing already so I can take whatever I want to take inside. Then you find when you get back home, you see your padlock is still intact. And people think, you know, nothing, nobody tampered with my box. But when you open it, a lot of things are missing. And I'm going to show you the best kind of box to travel with. Okay, so look at this one. I would recommend something like this. You see, there's no zip. That's the biometric lock. And that's the only thing. So, the only TSA can open this kind of box, and you, the hound, is the password. Situations when it's best to lie when you're traveling. When a stranger comes and asks you, Are you traveling alone? No, you're not traveling alone. Tell them you have friends, but they're shopping around. And also, you're gonna see some who come to you and be like, Do you need a ride? No, you don't need a ride. You have your family members outside waiting for you. Another one, uh, Is this your first time in this country? No, this is not your first time because everybody wants to take advantage of the rookie. Okay. So also, a lot of people are gonna be traveling and you find yourself in an airport where you don't have internet, you don't have phone network, and you wanna log into, the, into their Wi-Fi. Be careful the kind of Wi-Fi you join because you're gonna see different names, free Wi-Fis. Make sure it's a known brand you're logging into, like, you know, the coffee shop. Make sure it's the coffee shop, you see the name, the spelling, everything properly. Because if you join a, if you, because if you join an unsecured Wi-Fi, they're gonna spam your emails, your bank details, everything. So be careful before you join any Wi-Fi also. 